Toward the east, we've got this warm, moist air, but that's just one ingredient. If you head out a little higher in the atmosphere, we've got this low-level jet coming in here. But right around the base of that jet stream, off to the west, and that's going to be one of the ingredients that allows these thunderstorms to live a little longer and become a little stronger. They get to climb a little higher in the atmosphere. So these are some of the ingredients that are going into this. Obviously, as we head through the day, we're going to be watching these individual storms that form. And then also these lines of storms that go out a little bit have uh, some winds along with them. That's what we've seen the last two days. But if you're looking at the Ohio River Valley, look at this. See these thunderstorms see, uh, near Detroit? We've got these individual cells that could be stronger to contain hail. We could see damaging winds. We could even see a tornado once again today as these form. So this is a widespread area of severe weather possible going from the north on down south of Mississippi. And you'll notice that earlier this morning we had a little bit of an outflow boundary. The leftover from that could be one of the ingredients that go into these storms that form and move across south Louisiana, starting in south central Louisiana, the Atchafalaya Basin, on down into New Orleans. As we head uh, through, you'll notice the overnight hours. So the problem there is it's after you have gone to bed, you've got the kids in bed, and you start to see these stronger storms. This is the swath that we're concerned with severe weather potential today. From Detroit to Brownsville, Texas, it's all possible. Flooding potential also in there, some of these showers and thunderstorms. Train over the same area and dump tremendous amounts of water right on top of the areas that are already saturated. Torcon of four today. That uh, is a little farther north of them here, but in southeast Indiana and western Kentucky, you've got a Torcon of three. And then even in Texas, southeast Texas, you have a Torcon of three today. Chris, that is a 30% chance of seeing another tornado. So we've already